Has there been a storm in here? There's a lot of cut down trees here and destroyed buildings too. Or well, maybe there hasn't been a storm, but a... Uh... Old Lindo. Oh! What happened to Old Lindo? Property of Yulia Greywind. It's been raining for several weeks now. Tons of water pouring down in a constant torrent. Our home is filled with buckets to catch spills from the ever-growing leaks. How I long for a moment a clear sky and a break from the, from the incessant trip-tripping as I try to sleep. Disaster has struck. Last night, just after the eclipse, the red feathers woke to a creaking and growing. They grabbed their children and ran outside. Moments before the house split from its stilts and crashed in the river below. Madame Baker has ordered an evacuation of all the Lindo until they can fortify our homes against this awful wet. Oh, terrible news. And only a day after we evacuate our homes and make camp on high ground, the entirety of our happy village, mainland in a huge gush, taking our homes with it. What a horrible thing the weather has cast upon us. So there was a huge storm. There was a huge storm and the, because of the rain, the river overflowed. Oh! Wow! This is very realistic. Uh, it seems the residents here actually go home. My cousin is so full of energy. One day he's flapping around like a bird, and the next he's jumping everywhere, claiming to be a frog. Oh, that's your cousin? The original town built on the river. I remember hearing that it got destroyed in a mudslide. I heard that when I was really young. Oh, it was a mudslide? I thought it was a flood. Now leave me be. Oh wow, I am getting cold. I am actually getting cold. My teeth are clattering. I need to get indoors. Drink mountain water tea to quickly walk to known locations. Oh, uh, I guess I passed out. Okay, so I do need to be very careful about being outside at night. Shading folk tales, Vol 1. Long ago, the air outside the planet grew terribly cold. Without any fur on f or feathers for protection, some began to freeze. She decided to make her flames as big and hot as possible to keep herself warm. Sun worked all day and night to keep her fires burning. Enormous flames reached all the way out to her soil and began to scorch the creatures here. Fires raged, destroying homes and forests, but Sun was too exhausted to notice. Growing worried, the plants and creatures decided to help her. Together they gathered twigs, leaves, fur, and feathers, and wove them all together into a large sheet of fabric. They covered it with clay to protect it from fire, and the trees lifted the fallen mass into the sky. Take this blanket to rest yourself in warmth, the creatures cried. Sun slipped under the blanket and wrapped herself tightly. Her flames cooled and dimmed, leaving the land creatures in darkness. When Sun woke from her nap, her golden light returned to the creatures, who danced and sang, thankful that their gift had worked. And so that is the story of Sun's blanket, which she still uses each day. I do enjoy this exciting new lifestyle I've adopted. Did I ever tell you about my journey to Lindo? Yes, you did. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm sure you have the saga thoroughly memorized. It wasn't even memorable. Say. You do some sort of art things, don't you? Do you think you could capture my sheer magnificence on canvas? 
I'm dying to show my friends what a remarkable traveler I've become. Perhaps. What stunning taste you have. Be sure to capture every bit of my elegance. Wow, you're quite egotistic. A pompous patron. Hi. <sighs> That was the original Lindau. The town got destroyed after it rained every day for a solid month. The hill just slid away. There might be some stuff worth salvaging out there. Yeah, I found it. Alright then. Why not actually just paint? No, not paint over. Set the canvas to paint on. Wait, what? I don't have any canvas on me. I should have a one canvas on me. Strange, I did make another canvas. All right, a rather pompous fellow of the Lindo Inglewood and asked me to paint his portrait. All right, then. Oh, I can crouch too. Okay, this will make it better. Uh, no one else should be in the frame. Um, uh, like this. Wow, that looks quite dark for some reason. Oh my. That painting. It's the most perfect thing I've ever seen. I simply must have it. Oh, sure. You can have it. This is wonderful. My friends will be so jealous of me. I think I'll start a collection of paintings just like this. Why did it came out so dark? Can you imagine? An entire wall filled with paintings of me. I'm glad you like it. Now don't ask me uh, for another painting, please. But I do want to... Okay, I actually can't be outside at night. Not... Not right now. I actually need to... I actually have to sleep. Wait, there's a book here. The Architect of Lindo. Lindo's buildings are engineering marvels, as difficult to construct as they are beautiful. The designs of these technical endeavors are the work of one eccentric genius, Azad of Tario. Five years ago, this incredible architect vanished. His whereabouts remain a mystery to this day. Though praised for his accomplishments in engineering and architecture, he is perhaps most widely recognized throughout East Shade for rare genetic facial disfigurement. Disfigurement? A polarizing celebrity, many praise his genius, while others resent his supposedly arrogant disposition. Some even claim that his authority is owed entirely to the disfigurement, implying that his credit skills are, in actuality, nothing more than ordinary. However, one only needs to look around the town of Lindo to see he has built something wonderful. Oh yeah. 
I've heard of him. A terrible man. Just horrible. And not very good looking either. They say he disappeared, and I say good riddance. Wow. You know, there's always at least one NPC in a game that you really hate. Or at least want to hate. And I guess I found the one NPC in this game that I want to hate. I guess I should actually... Just sleep? Till morning? When should I wake? Oh, I can actually... Wow, this is really nice. This is actually very nice. Uh, half past... Half past... Okay. 5.30 a.m. That's good. 